Hezekiah became king of Judah. He was just like David and did what the Lord said was right. He removed the places where false gods were worshipped. He broke the idols they worshipped. Hezekiah trusted in the Lord, the God of Israel. There was no king like him before him or after him. Hezekiah was loyal to the Lord. He did not stop following God. During Hezekiah's 14th year as king, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, attacked Judah. He attacked all the strong walled cities of Judah and defeated them. Hezekiah tried to pay him large amounts of money to make him stop and go away, but the king of Assyria took the money and continued to attack them. Sennacherib sent out his supreme commander and his chief officer and his field commander. They went with a large army from the city called Lachish to King Hezekiah in Jerusalem. When they came near to the city, they called for the king. So Hezekiah sent out Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, and Shebna, who was a royal assistant, and Joah, who was the son of Asaph, as the recorder. The field commander shouted his commands out to the city and insulted the Lord God, saying, You have nothing to trust in. Your God can't help you. We will defeat you. If you choose to follow us, the king of Assyria will give you land, vineyards, bread, and life. Don't trust in your God. Follow the king of Assyria. The people were silent. They didn't answer the commander at all because King Hezekiah had ordered them not to. The three men went to Hezekiah and told him what the field commander had said. When Hezekiah heard the message, he tore his clothes and he put on rough cloth to show how sad he was. Then he went into the temple of the Lord. Hezekiah sent Eliakim, Shebna, and the older priests to Isaiah, who was one of God's messengers. He had made his decision. These men told Isaiah, this is what Hezekiah says. Today is a day of sorrow and punishment and disgrace. It is sad. The king of Assyria sent his field commander to make fun of the living God. Maybe the Lord our God will hear what the commander said. Maybe the Lord our God will punish him for what he said. So pray for the few people of Israel who are left alive. Isaiah said to them, Tell your master this. The Lord says, Don't be afraid of what you have heard. Don't be frightened by the words the servant of the king of Assyria said against me. Listen. The king of Assyria will hear a report that will make him return to his own country, and I will cause him to die by the sword there. Hezekiah received the letter from the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord. Hezekiah spread the letter out before the Lord, and he prayed to the Lord, Lord God of Israel, you are God of all the kingdoms of the earth. You made the heavens and the earth. Hear the words Sennacherib has said to insult you. The kings of Assyria have destroyed other countries and their lands and defeated their fake gods. Now, Lord our God, save us from the king's power. Then all the kingdoms of the earth will know that you, Lord, are the only God. Then Isaiah sent a message to Hezekiah. Isaiah said, The Lord, the God of Israel, says this, I have heard your prayer to me about Sennacherib, king of Assyria. I will make the victory over Assyria a triumphant one. The people of Jerusalem will make fun of the Assyrians as they run away in defeat. Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, will be judged because of his pride, thinking that he is better than the Lord God. In everything that happens, remember that my will and power are at work. The Lord, the God of Israel, is in control. That night, the angel of the Lord went out. He killed 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. When he saw all the dead bodies, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, left. He went back to Nineveh and stayed there. But one day, Sennacherib was worshipping in the temple of his fake god. And while he was there, his two sons killed him by the sword.